Turn out of your forecast. We're bringing Chief Meteorologist Ken Kent and uh, big weekend ahead. We've got a lot of activities. Oh, yeah. We got a 5K, mm -hmm. a 10K tomorrow morning. We got a heart walk on Sunday. And we also have a first look weather day. We do. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it, we could have worse ones. You know, luckily we're not expecting right. severe weather. You never want to hear about something like that and have a bunch of people trying to get out and, and do something like, like a buckle walk. Thunder and all exactly. That, yeah. This is just going to be nuisance stuff. So we'll, we'll deal with it. <laughs> mess, up, um, mess up your hair kind of nuisance. Absolutely. But not mine. Don't put a lot of effort in, Justin. Nope, just go just, bounce just right let off. It, just let it be wavy. It's if it waterproof. Has to be. <laughs> it's waterproof. The right amount of pride is waterproof. So it'll, it'll like beat up on top? We'll, we'll, we'll find out Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good reason to come to the Heart Walk to see that. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it's not a lost cause, and, of course, it'll go right back to being sunny next week. Sure, yeah. Sorry. I'm just i picturing one person <laughs> coming up and be like, mm, let me see that hair there. Somebody's going to come <laughs> check the hair. We will. We'll get a bodyguard for you so nobody touches it. We Perfect. don't want really to do that. Um, anyway, I ask. let's take a look overnight. Simple man. <laughs> you are such a simple man. All right, 60 tonight. We're going to have some clouds, even an isolated shower or two, but for the most part, clearing up. I did want to draw your attention to something you will see in the night sky over the next couple of nights, potentially a few shooting stars. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have clouds around tonight, tomorrow night, Sunday night at times. Uh, so just be aware that it's not going to be a spectacular show this year, but peaks on Saturday night could see about 10 to 15 meteors per hour. Lie with your feet facing east, stare up at one part of the sky, and you ought to be able to catch a few if you can get those clouds to break up just enough. Now, tomorrow afternoon, temperatures are going to warm into the 80s. We're actually going to see skies clear up during the day tomorrow before they cloud back up into tomorrow night. 70 in the mountains, a bit cooler in western North Carolina because of the fact uh, that we'll have that cold front moving through. So here's the deal. We've got clouds tomorrow morning in the mountains, mostly clear for the upstate. The front's going to be pushing its way through. So as it does, it could spark just a couple of quick showers south of 85, but for the most part, uh, any oomph for those storms to get going will really have shifted to the south. We had it today and we got that strong storm through Spartanburg County. So all that shifts out, but what happens is when that front in our vicinity, we're going to have an area of low pressure develop along it. And it's not going to affect us first thing in the morning Sunday, but the rain will start to push in during the middle part of the day and afternoon. And notice it's a fairly expansive area of rain, so it's going to be, it's not hit or miss with this situation. We're going to see a good chance of showers for any of your daytime activities on Sunday. Now when it comes to rain totals, anywhere from a half inch to an inch of rain will be possible between about midday on Sunday into Sunday evening. So we reference the Heart Walk. We will still be out there. It's a rain or shine event, uh, floor field, and uh, temperatures will be in the 50s with scattered showers. Not a perfect April forecast, but you know, we'll take it. Into next week, we've got mostly sunny skies, highs back into the 70s Tuesday into Wednesday, and then a slight chance of rain by the end of the week, but overall uh, looks pretty quiet. Uh, we'll have that first alert weather day for the rain on Sunday, but again, I emphasize no thunderstorms, uh, no frigid temperatures or anything, but it will be cool um, as that rain is coming down. So be sure to download the Fox Carolina first alert weather app. That way we can keep you posted as we continue to watch Sunday's forecast and tracking our next big thing.